Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PogNow.com and we're going to do the software tour of the Lumia 800. Uh, the reason we're in the car is because the, really the only interesting thing is the Nokia Drive software that they bundled with this. So let's check it out. Okay, so first up, if you want to learn more about Windows Phone 7.5, be sure to search PocketNow.com for our Windows Phone 7.5 review. You'll see all the cool features in this operating system. But here I'm just going to look at what Nokia has done in terms of customizations. So first off we have the color. This is the Nokia Blue. So that's a uh, <laughs> little thing that they've changed. And we see these are the default uh, live tiles and we see Nokia Drive is right there. And that's pretty much the only thing that's added by Nokia. However, there is a couple other things. There's contacts transfer, so this is going to just connect to your Bluetooth phone and it says you got to turn it on and whatnot. And it'll transfer your contacts. So that's good to have, nice little feature. And we also have We Care, this little thing from Nokia, and it's pretty much a waste of space. It's just this little uh, note uh, from Nokia. <laughs> that's all it does. Yeah. <laughs> And the other thing that comes with it is Nokia Drive. I also downloaded Nokia Maps and uh, WRC Live from Nokia. Those don't come with it. If I go to the marketplace, there is no Nokia store here. So not much customization here. Uh, let's go to first, before we go into the maps, let's see if it integrates with Bing. So here's a a restaurant that I found in Bain and I pinned it to the start menu. If I had open table installed you'd see a reserve button here and ideally with the navigation programs you should see a navigate using blah 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 Nokia Maps. That should be a button here and if I go to the apps that navigation program should appear here but it doesn't. It is not that integrated. So I can't really easily press the navigate button. I have to tap and hold the address, copy it, and now I have to go back into Nokia Drive and here it is launching. And I'm going to press this button. So here are my options. I have 2D and 3D views, set destination, settings, about, and feedback. Settings is nothing special. We have map color, landmarks, the voice you can choose, history, location on, manage maps, when you first start it up, you're gonna, it's going to ask you which map you want to download. You can download the whole USA or just specific states or other countries. If I press the plus button, we can download even more maps for free. Let's get back to the destination. So set destination. And now I can paste that address. Uh, it's not going to work because there's a suite number there. So that's the restaurant I want to go to, and we're going to hit drive. And we're going to hit start. Now turn left, and then turn right. So there you go, now I can turn music on. And we can drive. Like so. And let's hear what it says. I just made a wrong turn, so we're going to see it recalculate. Now turn right, and then turn right. So there we go, it's telling us to do that. And it's going to tell me to turn right again, but I'm going to just be in a different After. program. Oh, the voice just stopped. So we do not have voice going on in the background. But let's just press back and see how quickly we can. Oh, there we go. Turn right. Now turn right. So that resumed pretty quickly. So not bad there. All right, let me uh, pull After over again. Point two miles, turn right. So that's working pretty good. And it has the nice Nokia Blue theme there as well. Now when I'm on the directions, this is 3D mode, I can tap it. 
and now it's like a full screen. I can pan around, I can multi-touch, and I can zoom out. So I can look for different things. And uh, tapping and holding doesn't do anything. And there's your compass, and the settings just goes back to here. And that's about it for uh, options and functionality. Let me stop navigation. And set destination is only one field right there. I can do a search term, but it doesn't pick up my contacts list. So I have to go into contacts, I have to copy the address, and then paste it in here. So there's pizza places we can search for, and that's pretty cool. There's different options. Pretty good design, a uh, little, little weak on the functionality, but uh, you are getting it for free, so that's uh, pretty good. Okay, we'll take a look at Nokia Maps. This is a lot like uh, Bing Maps. Different colors, we have option to have zoom buttons here, which are good because you can use them with one hand instead of having to hold it with one hand and pinch to zoom like that. So that's a pretty nice feature. We have uh, layers, public transportation is going to show some, there's a train. Alright, and places is kind of cool when it works. So this is going to be kind of like a local scout-ish feature. So we get places there and we get explore buttons. So that's kind of cool to have. And when we go into one of these, you get a very Bing-like uh, card. And so we can pin it to the start menu. There's the pin button. There's a share button. And you get photos. That's pretty cool. There's a guide nearby. But it doesn't have an apps button. So you can't um, you know, get other functionality that way. Getting directions does not go into Nokia Drive. It just makes a list of directions. And this is not, there's no voice prompts for that. So it's not really integrated even with Nokia's own software. So that's almost the extent of functionality. Okay, let's go to settings. There's nothing new in settings except for this feedback to Nokia. <laughs> Oh, and you want to see the camera, don't you? Here's our settings. Nothing special here. 8 megapixel. No real customization for the... You also get some Nokia sounds. <laughs> anyway, uh, not a huge amount of customization on the Nokia Lumia 800. But if you like this video, uh, give us a thumbs up. And that's it for now.